Hello everyone, this is Ababa Akib and today we are going to discuss March 2019's paper 1, uh, 1 2 to be precise. So let's begin. Uh, for some reason, my uh, stylus of tablet isn't working properly on a PDF editor, so I'll be using my Windows journal today to solve the paper. Anyways, so the first question is for each of the statements, we have to take the most appropriate network. So we have a wide area network, okay? We have a wireless LAN and we have a local area network. So, you know, so let's discuss the definition first. A local area network is always confined to an office or, you know, your home or, you know, any any small setup. Your WLAN is essentially the same thing except it's not cabled, it's wireless. And then we have our WAN, that is the wide area network, which is basically the internet. So a cable network used in one building so what is it going to be it would be LAN okay because it's only confined to one building then we have internet an example of which type of network that is when the most obvious choice because uh, when is basically the network of networks okay that is the internet so several networks connected together using a router so again that is internet because when you have a lot of routers connected together so that's how you get a big network and that is exactly what uh, when it spreads across multiple geographical in areas okay and then we have a network that is connected without cables that is WLAN because it is the only thing that has the wireless prefix before it okay so next up we have question two so you have to tell whether it's a system software and application software so you must know the different system software is any type of software that is there to aid the system okay to speed up the task for you know to al let it manage things properly and everything else application is basically for the user to for you know for your work for your daily task for anything that is oriented with your um, personal usage so system software compiler yes it is definitely system software because it is used by our operating system okay and it's the purpose of compiler is just to convert the code into a machine understandable format but processing software that is definitely used by us as a user okay so Microsoft Word is the most common example spreadsheet again Excel yes it's not for the system operating system okay without the operating system we do not have any system software okay so operating system is essentially the the big system software itself oops Sorry. Okay, so question three. CLI and GUI are example of interfaces give two advantages of a computer having a GUI rather than a CLI. Okay, so this whole um, software that you're seeing right now, this is an example of a GUI, okay? So you have buttons, you have sc screens, you have icons, pointers, etc. So what would be the most intuitive advantage? Well, it is much more user friendly, okay? And CLI is basically the command, command line interface. Um, if I could show you for the sake of an example. Okay, so this is your command line interface. Nothing um, that is showing on the screen except commands. So what is the disadvantage? Well, you don't, you'll have <coughs> advantage of GUI rather than CLI would be no need of remembering lot of commands okay and anything else then this would be that since it's user friendly you know you can have a lot of options it is easier to use it takes less time okay so it saves time as well by you know you can instantly do the task while let's say instantly or something whatever so you can do instantly task rather than you know spending time writing code etc and furthermore it is always in there are less chances of clicking question three this okay or maybe you know drawing a circle around it then you know writing code for it so that is always there are always more chances of error in there okay so this was our question one off to question two now okay sorry page two question four okay so this question says basically how does a router work so the working of a router uh, to give a very simple example so you have a computer here and it's connected to some router that is again connected to another router in another network and you have another computer here and so far you know 
something like this so you have multiple computers etc so now imagine yourself as a pizza delivery guy so what you have to do is you have a destination all right so you start from some point and you have to deliver the pizza now without proper directions you won't be able to let's say go from this point to this point okay so that is exactly what a router does it basically forwards the data packets from one network to another a network ensuring that it reaches the destination so the first one is that it always inspects the data packets once it receives them okay any sort of data so let's say that once you've gotten the pizza so you'll just verify that the flavor that you got and the one that was ordered are both uh, indeed correct okay or they're the same so you inspect data packets okay well you know the router does so router inspects the data packets now once it it's done that it sees the IP address now what is IP address IP address is simply the internet internet protocol address okay so it is unique for each uh, you know device on the network okay just to make sure that everything is uh, there are no inconsistency or data clashes so internet protocol address is used to look at the please uh, ignore my bad writing okay so so destination okay now once you have looked up the destination now once the router has basically looked up the definite uh, destination now it would um, peek into the routing table okay so I'll explain what route, routing table is so what it does is that it uh, examines the routing table so what routing table is basically that it has a list of all the networks okay and the uh, possible ways of reaching them so that is, is very in in simple terms that is what a routing table is okay so like it would know that from this router there are how many ways to go to this okay so you can go from here to here you can go directly here anything like this now once the routing table has been examined it would select the <coughs> route so chooses the most optimal route okay so it chooses the most optimal route <coughs> and uh, one thing worth noticing is here is the by most optimal mean uh, by uh, by most optimal we mean that the route that would have that would le le need less hops okay so hops is basically the speed at which the data goes from one point to another in a network so that's how we so that's how our router works so the purpose is to send data packets from one place to another and ensuring that it reaches correctly okay and that it reaches um, you know at at ASAP let's say ASAP okay as soon as possible okay so the next question question 5 an officer an office worker is about to open an attachment but is worried that it might contain a computer virus so what is meant by computer virus this is such a trivial question so first of all we have the virus is just a program or it can be a piece of code that basically infects your computer okay so that affects your computer your um, laptop your tablet your phone whatever the device is now the main characteristic of a virus is that it can replicate itself okay so if you've seen superhero movies you you know there are a lot of you know the, that's kind of one of their move to make clones of themselves to distract the enemy so that's exactly what the virus does so it replicates itself <clears throat> and then finally uh, one more thing that it can do is that it can attach to files okay to images to uh, you know uh, maybe let's say documents so that's why you always you know it's always warned that you do not open unknown attachments in the email okay because the virus can always be attached to any sort of digital entity all right so now we have question six circle the three items that are used as output devices okay so you must know that output devices are any sort of device that gives us feedback okay from the computer <coughs> so first of all we have buzzer yes this is definitely an output device you you know you can hear the buzz sound so you'll be alerted 
CD, read write drive, no, this is not okay. Keyboard, no, this is an input device. LCD monitor, yes, you know, the, this is the most common um, output device webcam. Uh, no, you look into the webcam, okay? So that is an input device since you're providing the image. Not tracker, no tracker ball, it is also an input device. No solid state, that is storage. And then we have speaker, yes, so we can hear the sound of whatever the computer is, you know, producing. That's it. So, next question seven. Okay, so now we are, we basically have the Tawara Tea Company. Okay, the infamous Tawara is back. So it supplies teas to the customer, sorry, tea to the customers. And we have a spreadsheet and it keeps track of that. So you have two spreadsheets, sorry, worksheets. In the same spreadsheet, you have products and you have orders. So we have the tea code here. We have the product name, we have the price. And similarly, this tea code is, you know, being mapped from this one so it looks up <coughs> the relevant information so the part a says that you have to put a formula in cell d2 that can find the price per unit of the t multiplies it by the quantity order all right so you have to this is basically a lookup question what you have to do is you have to look up the t code from this uh, worksheet to this worksheet and return the relevant price and multiply it by the quantity order to get the total price okay so that is what we have to do now if you've ever you know used excel properly so you'll know this is a really simple vlookup question because you are looking up into two different worksheets so you say vlookup so you have to first of all look this code okay this code so the reference is b2 and the code has to be put here in d2 i think yes it's going to be in d2 so this is essentially where we are writing the code so b2 uh, let me let me show you an example before that okay I am just uh, going to give this example for sake of demonstration so this is a very relatable example to you know all of the young students out there so we have FIFA, Assassin's Creed and Fortnite you know some of very popular games so what we have to do is we have to you know look up the publisher using the publisher ID so the publisher information is here in this second sheet now if you've played these games you'll obviously know by heart so you know all the publishers but anyways so let's say I have to look up for FIFA so FIFA is basically made by Electronic Arts so I'll write V lookup I'll put the publisher ID okay whatever I want to look up then I'll have to say the table area I'll select the table area so I'll go to the other sheet and I'll select all the columns that are relevant to me okay so the one that uh, in, in that um, has the information that I need to match and the one that has returned me the relevant um, cell value so the column index number so you, in this you have to select the index of the column that has returned you that value okay so the desired value is in which column this is column one this is column two and we write zero so we because we want the exact match okay so or you can write false in either either way it works so it returns us EA correctly and if I replicate this it returns us Ubisoft and epic games now there is one mistake here if you click on this array so it says a3 to b5 so it takes you from a3 to b5 okay so this is wrong because the array is always you know static you are not going to change the array no matter what happens it's going to be these cells okay so you have to always put dollar signs so to make them absolute so you can press f4 as hard key okay and you'll write these so what happens is what happens now that the arrays won't change now you can see the a2 would become a3 a4 but these values remain the same that is what static referencing does okay so cells do not change any longer so this was just a small example now back to our original question yeah so yes yeah, one more thing so for this is the name of the sheet followed by an exclamation mark and then we put the array okay so this is always the same so since we had to look up in the what was the name of the sheet in the product sheet okay so I'll write products and then I'll put an exclamation mark now what is the array that I am looking for in so I have a2 all the way till c11 okay I know we do not need the b column but we still include it doesn't you know make a difference so this is A2 from here all the way till C11. So this is A2. 
2 and you put colon 2 C 11 so we have selected the array comma now we have to select the column number that we have to return that is in our case this is column oops sorry this is column 1 2 and 3 so we have to return the third column okay so we'll write 3 and since we want exact match we can write 0 or we can write false either way it's correct now again we made the same mistakes so these these need to be static okay so you put a dollar sign here a dollar sign here a dollar sign here and a dollar sign here okay so now they won't change at all and we are done with part a of question 7 so next one now so part b <coughs> now uh, part b says that there is a salesman who has made a new worksheet that is called receipt okay so this is the information in the receipt worksheet and now what it is asking us is that we have to explain how the salesman can format the cost column to display the value in Indian rupees okay so here we have some currency and we want to ensure that it is Indian rupees so how do you do that now this is really simple if I show you in Excel so let's use Excel again let me show you once so if I have a couple of you know currencies here so I'll say 10 12 14 I know these are not the original prices okay so please don't get offended if I you know change the price of your favorite game so if I have the currency here I'll select the cells I'll right click and I'll click on format cells okay now by default it's dollar we want Indian rupees so I hit come here in symbol and I click on where we have Indian okay we have Bitcoin here as well okay so you can select it I think yeah so Punjabi Nepali let's click on this and if you press okay this is now Indian rupee okay so this is how you do that so the first step is select cells so you select all the cells okay so you select all of the select all cells of cost column okay or field sorry column c-o-l-n uh, oh c-o-l-u-m-n and then you have what you have to do is you right click you click on format cells okay so we have two points so far the question is of three marks okay so we need three points and uh, then you'll click select symbol change it to INR okay so or whatever this uh, this is how it's done maybe okay and you change the symbol to Indian rupees so that's how you'll get the answer to this question I think the page is empty okay so going on to the next question we have question 8 I'm sorry I just got a message let me silent my phone okay so there's some offer from Pizza Hut never mind so question 8 so we have a drone okay so I'm pretty sure you have seen all the quadcopters and drones and stuff okay so they are pretty you know the cool thing right now so we have a remote controlled flying device okay and it is being used to monitor the floods in Mumbai so first of all you have a list of devices sensors etc what you, you need to tell that the device the drone is microprocessor so sorry the microprocessor controlled with input from us so how do you think a drone is controlled okay so if you've ever seen one you'll know it's obviously the joystick okay so I'll write joystick here that's how you control the steer the drone while it's flying so images of floods are captured using a buzzer or monitor no no and yes video camera and that's so I'll just write DC and the images sent from the drone are displayed on where temperature sensor absolutely knows so then you have monitor pressure sensor yes monitor is the most obvious choice but still for the sake of you know uh, for being vigilant we'll read the other options as well so, but the most obvious one is monitor name three advantages of using a drone okay so you know reading these keywords and depicting them is or decoding them is very important in the exam so it says name three advantages and you have only two lines and you have three points so name in this basic this is basically saying that you have to state so you have to just state the um, advantages rather than explaining describing them okay otherwise it would have clearly used any other keyword so the first one it would be that it is you know much safer to you know use a drone than to send human crew so then to 
same human crew okay because there all there's always a chance of you know some accident something going wrong especially since it's already flooded secondly well since you'll be flying the drone overhead all of the mumbai so you'll be able to get much better you know visual uh, visual representation of what the uh, damage so better visual or you can know you can say data so better visual data of flooding okay since you're flying overhead in case of humans so what they'll have to go to some area they'll take photos and etc okay plus this is you know it's faster because a drone can cover a lot more distance than humans can do in this very in the same time and or you can say that um, uh, you know it's less hazardous we have already discussed that and the other one can be that the you know uh, well if you send humans so what they'll do they'll have to take photos okay and then they'll have to send them back or wait for someone to evacuate them from the flood area so what drone can do it can you know live stream the feed okay or the video whatever it's recording to the tech crew or to the researchers or whatever it is okay so this is faster and much you know more convenient than sending humans down there so question seven uh, okay so this was question eight yeah so question nine now so Adhya has her family planning to visit the Gir National Park okay and she's creating a web page about the destination we have some HTML here and what we have to do is we have to write down four mistakes again so notice this so write down four mistakes that would prevent this marker from working properly you must be different in each case it says right now nowhere it says that you have to suggest the solution or describe the problem you just have to mention the problem okay not the cause not the effect and uh, definitely not the solution <coughs> so first of all let's read the code shall i zoom it yes i think i should zoom it let's make it 115 and a bit more so maybe 130 yes better okay so the first is the html tag this is correct we have a comment correct head okay so the head tag is empty but it is you know it's fine and we have the title okay so this is wrong so we have the first mistake here because the title tag is always inside the head tag okay and yeah so otherwise it's of no use and secondly one thing what's remembering is that if the title tag is wrong or it is not properly done as in syntactically it's incorrect so that can invalidate your whole html document okay so it can uh, you know um, cause a lot of issues okay so we have found one error then you have the table style it's width is correct background style okay so here is our second error you can clearly see that these quotation marks are not closed ever okay so this is the second error then we have the row tag the cell tag we have heading one heading three it's right then you have the national park heading three again tags closed okay so you had width here alternate description okay this is correct and you have image gear logo dot jpeg or alternate description is also correct and okay this is so far so good okay so here is the third error okay so the table tag that was that was started here where did it go here okay so it's not closed anywhere so it's you know being restricted again so that is an error okay and we have to find another error so it should be here somewhere image SC oh so here's the error okay so this is the fourth error it says image SCR okay when it should be SRC so SRC basically corresponds to source okay so this is wrong so we have found our four mistakes successfully so the first one is that the title must be inside head tag okay second one was image scr rather src okay so that is again a syntactical mistake 
the third one was you know the table tag at end is not closed rather it's you know being sticky to game on the fourth one is uh, what was the fourth one um, yeah so quotation marks so no quotation marks when writing hex value for bg color okay for for the background color of the i think it was the table yeah it was of the table okay so done so we have done this perfectly correctly well done everybody so now we are off to which question so question 10 yes okay so now we begin question 10 in this question we have been told that a new electric bus system is being considered for new delhi okay and the passengers will use the smart cards to travel on the bus and they will have to add money to the their smart card before they can travel okay so basically this is one of the top up uh, cards in which you'll have to you know put in some balance so that you can avail the service compare and contrast the use of smart cards rather than using the cash okay again i think the most important important part of this question is this keyword compare and contrast now uh, unless you don't know unless you know the uh, you know actual meaning of what is being asked you cannot attempt the answer and get full marks okay so this is six marks we have to give six um, points now before that it says compare and contrast that means similarities okay you have to give the similarity and the differences between both now it says to use a smart card rather than using the cash okay so rather than using cash that means that the advantage of using smart card outweighs that of cash okay so you now you have to tell the similarity and differences of for why you know this would be a better this would be a better choice okay so let's begin with the similarity first <clears throat> so the things that are similar so the first one would be that uh, you know since they, they both have the same uh, same objective or you can say they have the same you know, same use yeah so same use to do transaction so you, you or to you know uh, in the transaction is only good word let's use to buy ticket okay this is much better and the second one in our case would be that they're both accepted as you know uh, now that is basically the point of sale from where you buy the ticket the second one could be that they're both handy okay you know you can easily carry the cash anywhere you go and same for the card okay so they're both handy they're both easy you can begin to carry so these are the only similarities i can think of so far yeah so differences now now the differences would be so the first one the most obvious difference is that smart cards you know since they are cards they, they, they have digital you know access to the digital communication so they are easily trackable okay so they are more secure so more secure so i'll use sm for smart card so more secure and can be blocked if stolen okay so you can easily block it now also so uh, since you if you'll be using smart okay so i got the message again so if you'll be using smart card you won't be needing anyone to you know count the cash and stuff like that so you won't be needing any conductor on the uh, on the electric uh, sorry for the buses or stuff like that okay so you can say no need for cash counting or maintenance okay because you know collecting cash and securing it is also quite a hassle itself the third one would be now the most obvious risk of cash is that it can always be stolen okay so cash is prone to stealing okay so people can steal it anytime even your own employees maybe you know they can rob you or something so cash is more is always more prone to uh, stealing or you know any sort of threats 
the fourth difference that you can say is that you know one when, when you have the cash you can make sure that you know you can verify the amount that you give so you can always verify before purchase you know since it's in India and so or you know if we use a general example so what can happen is if any elderly person is using the smart card so what can happen is that the um, the this the system or uh, the basically whatever the receptionist whoever that person is they might you know do charge more so he or she may charge more on the smart card to any illiterate person who doesn't know how to treat the bill okay rather than you know but in cash it won't happen and the last thing would be that when you you know it's it often happens especially in case of debit cards so the, I, i'll just write it outside not so in debit cards what happens is cards what happens is that you know you go outside to hang out with your friends or you know you get, go to some arcade you think so you have a couple of hundred thousand you know rupees but at the end at the time of transaction you eventually realize that you don't have enough money okay so there's always this risk of you know overestimating your balance okay or you know you might think you have a lot of it but in reality it might be less so we're estimating your balance and you no know, let's say when you don't have enough you know you i know you can always check uh, it on the app or through the web portal but again if you're in a rush so you'll say oh i have enough balance in my card so it would it would be you know be able to lay me off but that doesn't always happen okay so this is how I think you should be attentive to the question. So this was the most important part, compare and contrast. You had to tell the similarity and differences between both of them.